Now what we're going to do is create our little character's head on the side over here. So on the right hand side you've got to see there's some project files and I've added in the character's head. So you can go ahead and download that and download it onto your desktop and then we need to import it into After Effects. So right click on your project panel over here and go import file. And we're just going to type in character head, or that's the name I've named it. And then what you want to do is make sure that it's on pre-multiplied matte with color and click OK. And then what you want to do is click and drop it into scene 1 above vignette. OK, cool. So now we can click on the side and make it a bit bigger, um, scale it up. So I guess it's kind of the same size as composition. And just position it, maybe even make it a little bit bigger. Just however big you want your uh, kind of character's head there. I'll bring it onto the, maybe about there, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now what we can do is you can actually create this. So I'm going to show you how you can actually draw this so you don't have to just go ahead and you know, upload things like that. So I'll show you how to do this. So the first thing you want to go and grab this pen tool. Um, if you click on it also and um, hold, you'll be able to see this has got this add vertex tool, delete vertex, convert vertex tool, and mask feather tool. So we're going to be using the pen tool to draw the outlines, and then we're going to use the convert vertex tool to um, kind of add in some bends and things like that. So select pen tool. Then up here, click on fill with the letters, and you want to click on none for that, and click OK. And for stroke, you want to bring that up to about 1 so that we can see the outline and change the color to something like black so that you can see it a bit better. Okay, so I'm going to grab first of all this hand tool and I'm going to go and zoom in a bit better. And then I'm going to grab my pen tool again. Now I'm going to create the outline of this collar. So you can simply click outside of there and just simply kind of go around and add in the points like so. And you can click on it and drag it across and draw it up like that. Okay, cool. So for this one, we don't want to have a kind of a, a point. We want to kind of make it curved a bit. So what we can do is click on here and go to Convert Vertex Tool. And if we click on that point, we can go ahead and just kind of give it a nice kind of curve by clicking and dragging across. So I'm just going to make a little, little, little curve like so. And that looks quite good. So we're just drawing the outline now. And after we've drawn the outlines, we can go ahead and fill them with the colors. So that's the first outline. Next one I'm going to do is the head, so just go around that head kind of shape. So go and grab this tool again, pen tool. I'm going to zoom in. If you have H on your keyboard, H for hand, it will bring up this hand tool and you can go ahead and kind of position it nicely so you can see it even better. And then go ahead and get your pen tool again. You can also click on the hand tool up there to use the hand tool. So I'm going to click it maybe underneath a little bit and go up to about there and then bring it across to about there and clicking down here and then click on these corners over here and just kind of click and then drag it a little bit and then click down there and click and give it a nice shape and then back down there okay and then click across you can always go back in there um, and adjust the the curves if it doesn't look too good just get this tool here and place it nicely and just kind of play around with it a little bit. I'll add in a curve on there. So look at that. Okay, so this one needs to be adjusted a little bit more. So it's all about, you know, a bit of patience and just playing around with it, making sure everything looks good. Oops. Okay, that's quite good to me. Um, you click on the points as well using this tool here, the pen tool, and you can go ahead and click and move them around and position it just as you like. Okay, cool. So this one, I'm going to rename it. So click on it and hit enter and hit and type in head. For, and then the, this top one that we did first of all, we're going to call this one collar. So enter collar. And the way that you position these layers as well um, shows on the screen wherever it is. So, um, for example, if, if this head's above the collar, you'll be able to see that the head lines go over top of the collar line. So we want to bring this head underneath the collar, so that the collar goes above the um, above the head. And when, when when we add in the, when we take away the lines and add in the fill color, then you'll be able to see it better. So we've done that. Now the last thing we want to do is just create this hair, this kind of funky hair he's got here. So 
go ahead and get this tool again and let's zoom in and create a starting point. Make sure that these aren't selected, these layers aren't selected otherwise it can create masks and you don't really want that. So again click and start drawing out your character. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can go ahead and change up the hair style if you like um, and go create it however you like. I'll bring this up a little bit. Go in using the hand tool, bring it up a little bit, and to, the short code for the pen tool is G on your keyboard, and that will. Um, change it into this so you don't have to keep going and clicking on this tool so H, I use H and G to H for hand and G um, for this pen tool to, to quickly use these tools effectively and let's click over there cool so I just quickly change that one a bit a little bit more and I'll add in a corner onto that first point there. So look at that. That looks quite good. Cool. So I'm going to name this one here. So enter and then type in here. And then what we're going to do is select all these layers and click on that and hit zero. And then you'll see we won't be able to see anything. Then what we want to do is click on whoops, click on head and if you just go ahead and click on these eyeballs so that you can't see them, click on head and click on the fill button and then click on this this tool here and click on the character's head and click OK. Then for the collar, go ahead, click on fill and this is just a normal white but we can go and select that one there as well and then go for here and click on there and get this tool here and click on the hair color. So now if I remove this character, so the image that we uploaded and I go ahead and click on these buttons you'll see that we just went and created a nice hair style. Now obviously we want to go ahead and just make a few adjustments so get the pen tool um, and go on the head this ear looks a little bit too pointy so let's make a little bit of a bend over here something like that it looks much better and that's quite good overall just quickly so go ahead and, and adjust that you know you can adjust the hairstyle it doesn't have to look like that that's our character so I'm going to delete this one or what you can do is just use that image you don't have to use uh, you don't have to create it but that's how you create a nice character so what I'm going to do now is select all these um, layers by clicking on there holding down shift and then clicking on the top one and then I'm going to right click on that and pre-compose and make this um, call this head Okay, cool. So now I've got a head in one um, folder, so I can go ahead and move it, and it's not separate layers. And then, you know, if we want to adjust it, make it bigger and smaller, we can go ahead and do that easily, um, like so. Cool, so jump onto the next video, and we're going to begin creating our iPad.